think they caught me. <laughs> this is our, yes, our painters and visitors from the other day. And they caught me at the gardening center. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this is just the best. Just the best. Look at that. Oh, beautiful things. And the tree, the tree he gave me for 20 years. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to have lots of fun today, this evening, this night. That's what I call a very good shopping day. I couldn't, I just couldn't wait any longer. Two days in a row I spent in a car driving to different little villages to Milan to pick up furniture, the windows. I needed this therapy. I did need it so much. And I think I won't be laying tiles today, this afternoon. What I will do is just to play in the garden. <laughs> just look at these wonderful things and the tree. I was dreaming about this tree and I had no idea my little garden center in Verena. They had them. For 20 euros I got the tree and they have the pink one and I think I do have to have a pink one as well. And just look how pretty the upper is. Oh, this is so good. All right, I have made a decision. I cleared the garden two days ago. Well, a few days ago, I cleaned the garden. It's nice and shiny, but um, it's midsummer now. And while I was cleaning the garden, I could see like what is not happy. And I will be moving some plants so they can uh, be as happy as they can at their best and recover from the heat and get strong and start blooming again and yeah while i was cleaning the garden i thought i don't really like how it looks like some of the parts of the garden now i want it to be really lush and full and green and full of happiness so i will dedicate today all my time to the garden and i'll do as much as i can and yeah so let's start first bring all the plants down into the garden And this morning, Charlotte and I, we went on another adventure. <laughs> no, we just went for a little uh, quick look to a garden center we have never been to. And it's amazing. It's beautiful, extremely expensive. But um, I found what I was looking for. And though I did pay much money, uh, but I couldn't find it anywhere. anywhere. So... I'm quite happy with my purchase and what I'm talking about is this ugly little uh, what's that the plastic thing <laughs> but it has those beautiful algae yeah well I would never pay any money for that because it's just what you find in the lakes and whatever but it is uh, a very important thing for my little pond because right now there is nothing that produces oxygen in the water so yeah this is underwater that just algae and some algae that not the algae but aquatic plants that live on the surface of of water and that will help um, my little pond to be healthy so that goes into the frog pond and the sun now is up there. Actually, I placed the tree there and it looks amazing. It's just so beautiful there. Now I'm thinking maybe we do need to plant a tree there that will provide shade actually. And this type of tree you can, uh, you can easily shape. Yeah, so that one will stay there for a few days. So I will have a better idea of, of, of 
having tree there and this part of the garden now is in the shade so I can start working here and the first thing is to place the algae into the pond my lovely little pond yeah see the water going green and not healthy and the lady uh, in the gardening center she has the same ponds using same plastic uh, containers for, for cement for mixing cement uh, same size and her water is transparent and healthy she doesn't change water she doesn't have uh, any um, circulation in the water nothing just same bucket with water but she has those plants she has these plants and she does has does have these plants and this is makes difference so let's see i'll place these into the water and we will see what happens in a few weeks It is so beautiful in the garden. I'm loving more and more this terrace with the curvy path. And I think my new oleander, I've got a beautiful peach color oleander. It will be going in there because we don't have enough height here. It's just too sloppy and too um, bold. So I think evergreen, a uh, huge shrub will be just perfect here. And look at those flowers, just, aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they absolutely beautiful? So this one will be going here. In this terrace. Ah, oh, this is my happy moment. <laughs> beautiful person that goes with me onto our terrace <sighs> and I'm clearing this bed already all the unhappy plants have been removed here and uh, they will be fine they will be much better in a different spot down there where we have less sun and I think agapanthus will be incredibly happy in this uh, dry and sunny spot as lavender and rosemary. I do love this tree here on that terrace and actually it can go into a um, baseless pot. I think it will be just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous here. Huh. More I look at it here, more I like it. It will be gorgeous. Yeah, I will keep it trimming as a parasol flat and it will provide shade in the summertime. Love it. Yeah, but back to my flower bed here.
have a look again at this beautiful tree here it's just as it's always been here doesn't it and I think it's really pretty with white furniture and I think we will we, we, we always will have white furniture here it's just pretty and yeah really like it and I'm working now on the rose project um, a gorgeous polka rose that has been in this pot well it used to be in a different pot smaller one and I transplanted it um, some time ago I think like early spring and still it is not happy uh, it's not much growth it was taller it was that tall two stems and it produced two flowers and this is one of the most vigorous uh, climbers and bloomers and this is very strange what's happening with this rose it started this shoot really pretty um, but yeah I made a decision that I have to actually put it into the soil I'll cover it like that uh, in hope that she will be much happier in the soil and here in this pot I also have well weeds I do have <laughs> weeds but some uh, oh, what is this the herbs uh, what are these oregano yeah I have some oregano here so I'll transplant these first and then work on the rose. Mm -hmm. 